Framers of the 1987 Philippine Constitution endorsed the tandem of Vice President Lenny Robredo and Senator Francis Kiko Pangilinan. In a statement Thursday, February 24, the Framers cite Robredo and Pangilinan's track records as servant leaders who can inspire generations of Filipinos. They say Robredo embodies the constitutional vision of leaders who live modest lives and are transparent in the use of the powers of office. Among the framers who signed the statement are the following. Felicitas Aquino Arroyo, Bishop Emeritus of Novaliches Teodoro Bacani, Florangel Rosario Braid, former Supreme Court Justice Hilario Davide Jr., Edmundo Garcia, former Commission on Elections Chairman Christian Monsod, René Sarmiento, Jaime Tadeo, and Wilfrido Villacorta. The 1987 Constitution was ratified a year after the EDSA People Power Revolution toppled the dictatorship of Ferdinand Marcos. The debate of verse Bongbong Marcos can't commit yet to the Comelec presidential debate on March 19. The Marcos camp's clarification comes shortly after Comelec spokesperson James Jimenez said on Thursday, February 24, that all 10 presidential candidates confirmed to join the Comelec debate. Marcos spokesman Vic Rodriguez says the former senator's participation will only be confirmed if his hectic campaign schedules permit. Marcos skipped the two major presidential interviews, one by GMA News and the other by the Kapisana ng mga broadcaster ng Pilipinas. He will also skip the CNN Philippines debate on Sunday, February 27. On Twitter, Jimenez shows a letter sent by Marcos's campaign manager Benhor Abalos saying that the son of the late dictator has expressed his readiness to join. In the letter dated February 14, Abalos requested that the candidates be able to discuss with Comelec the format and the issues to be discussed. Jimenez says if more confirmation is needed, the Comelec awaits the same with bated breath. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The Comelec will modify its policy on the removal of oversized campaign paraphernalia on private property. This comes after its Opland Baklas activities drew negative reactions online. Comelec spokesman James Jimenez on Thursday, February 24, says their field officials will have to secure a written consent first from the private property owner before taking down the paraphernalia. The Comelec allegedly dismantled campaign posters on private property without permission, but the poll body denies this. The Comelec has always abided by the policy that we will not enter into private property unless there is consent by the property owner. Um, and we will take that a step further by requiring uh, the officer to produce a, uh, a written consent form. The private property owner has up to three days to accomplish the form. Election lawyer Romulo Makalintal had asked the Comelec to suspend a part of its TARP removal operations until it amends Comelec Resolution No. 10730. The Comelec insists it has the right to go after oversized campaign paraphernalia on private premises based on its interpretation of a 2015 landmark Supreme Court ruling. Russian forces invade Ukraine by land, air, and sea Thursday, February 24, confirming the worst fears of the West with the biggest attack by one state against another in Europe since World War II. Russian missiles rain down on Ukrainian cities. Ukraine reports columns of troops pouring across its borders in the east and landing by sea at its ports in the south. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky says Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin's aim is to destroy his state. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitro Kuleba on Twitter says this is a war of aggression. Ukraine will defend itself and will win. The world can and must stop Putin. The time to act is now. EU Foreign Affairs Chief Joseph Borrell says, These are among the darkest hours of Europe since the Second World War. 
U.S. President Joe Biden says the United States and its allies will impose severe sanctions on Russia after its attack. Ukraine's military says it destroyed four Russian tanks on a road near Kharkiv, killed 50 troops and downed six Russian warplanes in the east. Russia denies reports that its aircraft or armored vehicles have been destroyed. Russian-backed separatists claim to have downed two Ukrainian planes. ABS-CBN confirms the highly anticipated Star Magic Ball and All-Star Games are coming back this 2022. The announcement was made during the Capamilia Strong 2022 event Wednesday, February 23. Aside from the contract renewal of 11 celebrities, it also kickstarts the 30th anniversary celebration of Star Magic, ABS-CBN's talent management arm. Star Magic and ABS-CBN Entertainment production lead Lorenti Joggi says they are venturing into a new era of Star Magic in the 30 years to come. Among the promised activities are the All-Star Games sports event and the Star Magic Ball. Additional details about the activities have yet to be announced, but netizens are already looking forward to these events. Both the Star Magic Games and Star Magic Ball were an annual event until 2019. There were no 2020 and 2021 editions because of the COVID-19 pandemic. 